Hello everyone. Fluid management plays a very important role in management of critically ill patients, which impacts the outcome as well. So today talking about the four phases of fluid resuscitation, which was initially proposed with the acronym SOSD, which stands for salvage, optimization, stabilization and de-escalation, which was later used by the acronym ROSE, which stands for resuscitation, optimization, stabilization and evacuation. So let's see what it means. First phase that is resuscitation or salvage wherein when patient presents with hemodynamic shock the next to do is correction of shock with achievement of adequate perfusion pressure wherein we give rapid fluid bolus of 3 to 4 ml per kg over 10 to 15 minutes that is 100 to 200 ml must be considered based on the clinical findings and may be repeated if necessary hemodynamic monitoring must be initiated at this point of time along with correction of the underlying cause early adequate goal directed fluid management along with positive fluid balance must be considered the second phase is the optimization when hypovolemia is corrected but still patient is hemodynamically unstable here fluid must be administered based on the patient's need considering fluid challenge techniques wherein four things are important which can be remembered as trawl T stands for type of fluid that is using balanced crystalloid is better. R is the rate of administration that is 3 to 4 ml per kg must be given over 10 to 15 minutes and reassist while administering. O is the objective targeting normal arterial pressure and heart rate and L is limiting the fluid wherein keeping a monitor on increasing CVP, pulmonary vascular permeability index and extravascular lung water index. Markers of hypoperfusion can be monitored during this phase that is lactate, prolonged capillary refill time and watching score. The aim of this phase is to maintain adequate tissue perfusion and oxygen preventing and limiting organ damage. Next is the stabilization phase. This begins once the patient is stable. Aim of fluid management in this phase is to ensure water and electrolytes to replace ongoing losses and provide organ support, targeting zero or negative fluid balance. The next phase is the evacuation or the de-escalation phase wherein removing excessive fluid that will be achieved by diuresis as the patient recovers. In this phase, we aim at active late goal directed fluid removal and negative balance. Hence, fluid must be prescribed with the same care as any other drug and every effort must be made to avoid unnecessary administration. So stay tuned for further videos on fluid management. Thank you.